Welcome to the connection testing video on the Wojo Market channel. Today, I will conduct a connection test using the SkyJoy H16 remote controller, CUAV X7 Plus flight controller, and the CEZT6 gimbal camera. We will be using 5 cables in total, the Ethernet control cable, Claymore 1 cable, QW with Facebook cable, power module, and the power cable. The first cable I'm holding is the Ethernet control cable. This is a custom-made cable that you can make according to the wire sequence on the picture. Connect the wire, the IP interface to the Ethernet port of the camera, and the 5P interface to the LAN port of H16 receiver. Next is the TLM1 cable. Connect it to the out port on the H16 receiver. In the TLM1 port in the flight controller. The third cable is the POW with s -Boss cable. One side goes into the s -Boss port on the H16 receiver. And the other side splits into two wires that connect to the RC port of the flight controller and the power supply. Finally, the H16 receiver, light controller, and the gimbal camera are connected to the power supply. Power cable is used to connect to the camera. Once everything is connected, turn on the remote controller and the enter CEFPV to check if the connection display and the control are functional. Then, click the top right corner. In the settings, you can adjust the camera's imaging direction. In the camera settings, you can choose the window display mode, which includes zoom and thermal imaging. Thermal imaging allows you to assign different color schemes to high and low temperature regions through a color palette for more intuitive representation of heat data in different scenarios. You can also switch between different thermal imaging display colors based on your needs. In the settings, you can also choose to close one or open both display windows simultaneously. Next, open QGround control and go to settings.
the general settings by video settings. Select RTSP video stream and fill in the video stream address for the ZT6 camera. Now, fill ground control should be able to display the image from the ZT6 camera. So, that's it for this connection test. Thanks for watching. To see more test videos, please subscribe to our channel.